But the temperatures are dropping. We're still weeks away from any measurable snowfall, but communities around the Miami Valley already mobilizing ahead of another anticipated salt shortage this winter. It's a story we've been following for you since last winter, and tonight, Maytal Levy is digging deeper to find out how they are planning to keep the roads safe. People who live in Beaver Creek may be in for a rougher ride than they're used to this winter. When it comes to the roads, the city's policy has always been all pavement, all the time, until now. We're going to go into the season with the possibility of not even salting half our streets, which is a huge departure from our, our past. Beaver Creek, like many of its neighbors, is planning to only salt the main roads when the snow falls. Cold sacks and smaller roads will still be plowed, but there will be nothing between your car's tires and the road. It's all a result of a salt shortage that started last winter. Due to high demand and low supply, there's less salt available, and cities are paying for it. All of the cities we've talked to have a similar strategy, more pre-treating. When we go in and plow, we can plow the snow up and it won't um, bind into the pavement. In a video posted to the city of Vandalia's website Thursday, the director of public service says his crew will be adding a chemical to the salt this year to help stretch the supply. Rob Cron says Vandalia will only get about 300 tons of salt this year, about a quarter of the usual supply, and crews will have to make it last all winter. We have purchased some new equipment this year um, with new controls that will help us monitor our salt usages and conserve it as well. So that's going to be one thing. We're going to cut back on the amount of salt we use. In Inglewood, the city manager says there's enough to get through a routine winter if they're careful. Everyone we talk to has the same message for residents. Be patient. They will do the best they can to keep the roads from getting too slippery. Sometimes it's better to have some snow on the street to help you get some traction than to actually plow it off and not be able to salt it and it'll actually make it slicker. We also called Centerville where city leaders tell us they received their last shipment of salt for the year. They say they're cautiously optimistic it'll be enough. Maytal Levy, 2 News, working for you.